హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు అశోక్ ఐటీ ఐఎమ్ శేఖర్ జావా ట్రైనర్ ఎట్ అశోక్ ఐటీ నౌ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ ఎ న్యూ ఫీచర్ ఇంక్లూడెడ్ ఇన్ జావా సెవెంటీన్ విచ్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ రికార్డ్ క్లాసెస్ యాక్చువల్లీ దిస్ ఫీచర్ వాజ్ ఇంట్రడ్యూస్ ఇన్ జావా సిక్స్టీన్ బట్ దిస్ ఫీచర్ ఈజ్ ఫైనలైజ్డ్ ఇన్ జావా సెవెంటీన్ వర్షన్ సో వీఆర్ డిస్కసింగ్ యాజ్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది జావా సెవెంటీన్ ఫీచర్ you know what are dto classes dto classes are used to transfer the data from one service to another service in a real time application or even from a server to a client dto stands for data transfer object now from java 17 to create the dto classes easily in a concise way then java 17 introduced a feature called as record class a record class just like an immutable class in java but here you no need of creating the constructors the setters getters to string hash code or equals methods manually or you no need of using any third party api like lombok api annotations for generating this type of boiler plate code now let's see how we can able to create a record class there is a keyword introduced in java 17 that is called record it's actually introduced in 16 and we can use it from 16 onwards there is a keyword record which can be used for creating a record class in java now if i create any record class then all the fields of the record will be automatically made as private and final and automatically the accessor methods are created which means the getter methods are created for each field and all arguments constructor is also going to be created and automatically the methods like a two string hash code and equals methods are generated let's see how we can able to create a record class let's move on to the screen so here i'm just going to name it as employee is a name of the record now i should specify what are the fields that should be created under this record so i should specify all the fields of the record with the record name only here the record name is employee and here we are creating one field as empno and the other field as e name and the other field as salary these are the fields i want to create for the record now when i create a record like this then automatically these fields are made as private and final and an all arguments constructor will be automatically created for this employee and also the getter methods are created for this employee but here the getter methods are not going to start with a traditional word called get the field name itself will become a getter method no setter methods are created and hash code equals two string method these are all automatically created so this is a concise way of creating an employee a record class now this can be used as a data transfer object it is an immutable object so once the object is created we cannot able to make any changes to the data so we can safely transfer the data from one layer to other layer or from one service to the other service like for example if you take a customer you have to transfer the customer from order service to the payment service or from order service to the delivery service or order service to the order summary service so like this the customer data need to be transferred from one service to the other service you can safely transfer just by creating a record class which is concise way of creating the dto classes now consider i have created one record class like this now let's create an object for this record so let's create a new class consider it is main and with main method and here we are going to create employee emp equals to new employee and we are going to provide three parameters consider we are going to provide the three parameters as employee number name and salary consider 7788 is the employee number consider the name is scott and salary is 5000 now this is the way of creating an object for record class and now if i want to access the data of the record then i can call getter methods 
but as you know getter methods are not going to start with get instead the field name itself is going to act like a getter method see i would like to print s out employee number i can print like this by writing emp dot emp dot emp and what this is going to be acting like a getter method similarly i would like to write for name and similarly i would like to write for salary now let's run this and check the output now as you can see employee number i can access it employee name i can access it and even salary also i can able to access it and this is all just by calling the respective getter methods even two string method is also created automatically consider we would like to remove these lines of code now let's directly write s out of emp now we know internally two string method is called if you would like to call you can able to call directly by calling two string now run this code and check the employee as a string now you see we got the employee as a string employee of employee number comma name of the employee as well as the salary of the employee consider you are creating two employees and you want to check whether their hash codes are same or not equals method is overridden and hash code method is also overridden consider we are creating emp2 as well create one more line of this and consider it as emp2 with the same data now i want to check whether both are equal or not now i want s out emp dot equals of emp2 now if you print the hash codes of emp and emp2 the hash codes of the objects will be printed okay hash code method is overridden so we are going to get the same hash code for both these objects now this results true let's check the output now we got the response as true now when we are creating any record class a record class cannot extend any other record class our record class cannot extend a normal java class as well consider for example i am writing extends some class like thread for example then i am going to get error because i extends is not allowed on records extends is not allowed on records because a record class cannot extend any other java class a record class cannot extend even another record class as well but a record class can implement an interface so consider instead of extends i would like to write implements serializable okay now i am not getting any error implements is supported extends is not supported even it can implement more than one interface also even a record can implement sealed interface as well let's check with an example consider let's create one sealed interface we are creating interface employee activity it's an interface i would like to mark it as sealed it's a sealed interface sealed interfaces permits the creating implementation classes in a controlled way so there is a keyword called permits and consider we are writing employee is a record which is permitted to implement this interface called employee activity and consider consider we are creating one abstract method abstract void add employee now let's go to this is the interface we have created now let's go to employee which is a record it can implement this sealed interface called employee activity so i am writing implements serializable comma employee activity and this has to override the method called add employee let's override the method add employee in this record let's override the method add employee and here you can write whatever the code block that you want you can define your code block over there now if you look at this record this class is implementing two interfaces serializable comma employee activity employee activity is a sealed interface so it can implement more than one interface it could be sealed interface also but a record class cannot extend any other java class 
or it cannot extend any other record class. Only it can implement one or multiple interfaces. In this way, the record classes will help us to make the DTOs very shorter, very concise and we can easily transfer the data from one service to other or even from a server to the client. This is the feature included from Java 17. This is finalized in Java 17. This is how the record classes will work. Thank you.